All right, we have a well, a well pump, and then we also run everything off of a 10 kilowatt system. In most scenarios, that would probably be enough, but we have some instant hot water heaters. And if I'm running a seven kilowatt instant hot water heater and um, my well pump also tries to come on and it surges really high, which my well pump's only gonna use about a kilowatt. So I, I should still have the, the wiggle room if it does come on while I'm running my seven kilowatt instant hot water heater to at least run the well pump. I'll be pushing it right to its limits, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and try this anyways and um, see if we can get um, our system to run our well pump, run our instant hot water heaters, and who knows, maybe even a, anything else. So we're gonna give it a go. And regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and take some measurements and see what my starting amps are before installing this and after installing this and how these things work you can see we got an input and an output this will be for a single phase 240 volts so we got a two kilowatt and we can limit the amount of current being delivered for zero to 30 seconds and we can also limit the amount of current from zero to 50 percent and so um, i'm going to go ahead and take our panel off get to our pump all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is switch it to our amps, the highest one, and then we gotta switch it to our AC amps, and we got it set to our max. So this reading is gonna read our max amperage that pulls through here at the best that this can measure it. Sometimes it's a little higher if it's just for a really, really split second. I'm gonna go out here and uh, get this pump to kick on. Shouldn't take too long. Doesn't look like we measured anything, so let me switch over to the min again. And okay, so it pulls 20 before we install this. And I think we can probably get it down if I switch back out of this or just go to here, switch to AC. We got about 8.8 9 amps. So we got it installed and we're going to go ahead and fire it up for the first time. I do have a feeling I'm going to probably have to use this relay that's on here for my switch because there will always be power provided to my um, input and I need my, my pressure switch on here to engage and start the 30 second timer or whatever seconds that I have this set to, I need it to start that rather than it always being on. So right now it'll start as soon as I provide it power because it's jumped on. And so I'll, I'll test that by taking that out and jumping it to uh, engage it like the, so here we go. Flip it off, let it depressurize, get my amp measurement ready to go. Okay, well our max hit 17 versus 20. I can't say it was that much better. Um, our wattage though, our amperage might have, but hmm. Maybe I could limit current more. And I can adjust this more probably. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn it all the way one way and see which way does what on the percentage. So 
So I've turned it all the way one way. We'll see. Nothing. So that's zero percent. Now let's turn it all the way to seventy-five percent, maybe. Just so you can see it better. Or not 75, I guess that would be more like, uh, well, whatever. I'm sure I can get to too high of a point where the motor really struggles and it's hard on it. It kind of looks like it needs about 17 amps regardless, so. It can limit it some. But 50% seemed like a good set point. You know, maybe, maybe I can go for longer. And get it spinning up faster. Uh, go this way. I don't know. Let's try it again. This way, maybe. I don't know what you mean. way is doing me more favors. Yeah, it seems like giving me longer time helps, maybe? I'll turn it all the way the other way and see what it does. that one. Maybe if I limit the current a little less and do it longer, we get a little better. like it was a little better on the motor and still didn't pass 16 amps but we're going to go ahead and uh, when I when I do it more current limiting more current it seems like it just sits dumping current into the rotor without it spinning for a little bit longer but it still peaks out at 16 amps it seems like but I'm going to go ahead and set my min max turn the light on for us so we can see it better and we'll uh hold on let me actually shut it down let me reset here the ac go to min max and we'll see what our max is here Amps. Look at that. We did better. So let's go again. 
and let's go a little less. Since that was doing us some favors. Yeah. 16 amps. Right there. Now we want to reset max and let's give it a go. Alright, this seems to be the best for this setup. We got 15.4 amps is our max versus 20. So we stopped the um You know what? Um, yeah, so we we trimmed off five amps off of our starting amperage, which is nice. And so we'll uh, see kind of what this looks like better on the charts because I also have a monitor on this and I can see what what we were doing uh, as we went. What I am gonna to have to do is trigger this relay here so that the pressure switch um, either triggers this or install this past the pressure switch so that as soon as this is provided with power from the pressure switch, it all comes on. And so that'll that, that's my two options with triggering this on. Uh, hopefully this helps you maybe run a pump that is requiring a lot of demand on the startup um, and running it off of a inverter that you have um, where you can't run a VFD or a variable frequency drive uh, because it's a single phase motor that's not compatible with a VFD. And so um, hopefully this helps you. I know it's a long video, but um, there you go.